morning everybody it is a Tuesday it's a Tuesday I am I was with my sister yesterday I don't know if you're going to be able to see any footage of that I was with her yesterday pretty much I was at work and then I left work early and then I pretty much spent the whole afternoon with her. Met up with some of her friends and then moved from one location to another location. And we pretty much spent the whole afternoon together. She slept over at my place. We showered this morning, got dressed. And now I am meeting her for breakfast. She's, we're actually driving together. But yeah, we're, we're going somewhere for breakfast. And um, what else? After that, I, I have a couple of things that I need to do work-wise, but the reason why I'm not in the office today is because load shedding hits our office from eight till 12. So it's a, it's a four hour slot. Um, so yeah, everything I need or everything I need to do, I'm going to do via my phone. That's pretty much it. That's why I'm not in the office today. I'm going in tomorrow, I'm going in Thursday. Lots of plans for this vlog. Um, going to also got a couple of events to hit on Thursday. Um, one is the it's in Rosebank. Um, it's a kind of uh, the, the Mama Samba restaurant. It's a not a launch or whatever i mean the restaurant has been open for a while but it's like a tasting evening food evening that kind of thing uh i got invi an, an invite to that yesterday i'm going with my sister she got the invite as well and then um in the same venue we there's the laughing jokes something event where my sister has been invited to that and I'm going with her as her plus one so it's quite a few events that are going to be happening this week which is nice um, so sorry about the morning sun today I also have an appointment at life day spa courtesy of my sister because I was complaining about a pain here uh, and my sister was just like, bro, you stressed, bro, you stressed, you're going through a lot, bro, which I am, I am, and she is too, that's probably one of the reasons why we kind of spent the day together, um, yesterday, it was, it was a really emotional day for the both of us, yesterday, very, very emotional, um, so, so, I complained to her about a pain on my, this my shoulder area this whole area here pretty much this but on this side i complained to her and i cried about it because it was really sore it's really sore and then she was like you know what girl let me book you for a cbd massage and i was like okay mamas really and then she was like yeah why not and i'm like oh okay so uh very very excited for that that's later on at one o'clock. Um, got a couple of other things that I need to to do. Um, yikes. Got a couple of other things that I need to do um, that I am, that I need to get done today. Got a couple of other things that I need to get done today. So yeah, we just got to Lua, which is pretty much around the corner from me, from my place and uh let's go have breakfast i'm treating my sister to breakfast and she's so excited she's so excited that i'm treating her she's so excited
um, oh, sir, 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 I'm, I'm turning. Thank you. All right, hey chaps. So I just finished up with my sister and wonderful. That's all done. Brunch went really well. I'm going to see her a little bit later because there's something that she wants to shoot. It's not another video. <laughs> it's not another video. But um, there's something that she wants to shoot a little bit later. I feel like I sit so low that you're seeing the steering wheel more than you see me. And that's fine. That's fine. Um, but I had to go back to the house after breakfast and actually pick up um, a book, a little swimming chum. Because here's the thing about me. When I go to the spa, I actually get my massage done and I'm out. Right, I'm out. I, I don't want to chill and make the most of it. But to be honest, with everything, everything that's been going on, you know, my sister and I were just so emotional. We were crying yesterday and we were just so in our feels about everything that's been going on in in life, in lifing, you know, um, everything that's been going on. I really think I deserve to utilize the facilities of the spa as much as I can today. Don't rush to leave. Don't rush to go back home um, to then be at home and be wondering and worried and stressed about something and overthinking things and all of this. So I would rather just be in the spa. You know, so I, took, I went back to the house to pick up a book. Went back to the uh, house to get a book and um, so like a bikini, all of this so that I can just enjoy my time at the spa that's all and it's a tuesday so i'm assuming that it will be quiet and not busy but if it is busy chances are i might not do all those things i might just leave but if it's not busy then great then i'll be able to do all the wonderful things that i've planned so i, I got a book as well i just really wanna i wanna hang out chill and enjoy so we'll see We'll see. Maybe I might just hang out and chill and wrap myself up in a gown and call it a day. Sit and read a book rather than go in the water. But we'll see. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the next footage you're going to see is the spa footage. So roll the spa footage. <laughs>
Hello. Hi. Ah, uh, I know I haven't spoken in this vlog much, but I've been doing a lot. So I'm going to catch you up while also telling you what I'll be reading. But before I do that, my darling, <laughs> oh, before I do that, we're going to have a savannah because why not? Why not? And I'm going to put it in, the, in the, this glass because I can. Thank you, sir. Doesn't get the focus. Never. Would never be me. I'm going to survive. And I killed Kokolene. A few days ago, a lady was here shooting some content. Sharp. And the content was wonderful. It turned out beautiful. Mar. Before na lady Areka is into. Before na lady Areka is in. Thank you. Thank you. Exit. Thank you. Yeah, what? Yeah, Perja Sibila so retire. Before na lady. Before na lady Areka la yena li timia hai di drinks and all of that. I had drinks in the house. I try to always have drinks in the house and I had savannas and I had like five savannas and then she went and she bought more drinks and by the end of it I had one savanna left this one Mara anyway her and Rob were all catch up like it ma her and Rob catch up hi that's better I feel like it's the first time I'm actually talking to the vlog properly. And I have spoken to the vlog a little bit, you know, since doing my hair. But um, I've got this thing, I get sick and tired, you know, I get sick and tired. Oh, if you're not in the membership space, you wouldn't have seen my vlog when I was at Legends getting my hair cut in the moment. So please do join the membership space. There's a lot of content on there. Like you will, you... <laughs> You will be busy for quite some time. There's a lot of content on there. But I feel like I haven't spoken to the main channel, the main space about cutting my hair and changing my hair. Listen, I wanted to do the whole faded route, which is what I used to do before, and I loved it so much, and I did it for such a long time. Excuse me. Um, I've been doing it for a long time. And doing designs on the side and whatever but to be honest uh fade fade key maintenance because once it grows out again then you gotta go back and it's not an issue about how it's not a, a finance or pricing issue like legends are so incredibly reasonably based listen if you have anything outside of a wig a weave whatever everything else seems to be cheaper or debris but I don't actually remember um, coming to the vlog and actually speaking about the fact that I've cut my hair. So I have cut my hair. I've dyed it like a caramel kind of uh, ginger color. I haven't styled it today because I've been sitting in the house all day. Um, but I feel pretty good today. I feel pretty good today. And that's all I can be thankful and grateful for. At this stage in my life, I am just thankful and grateful for the fact that I feel good today. I've been filming a couple of TikToks today and I am on TikTok. So if you want to check me out on TikTok, definitely do go on to Kato Malela for the me, the general content that you see on here. If you want the more coaching, self-development, mental health co uh, content, it's Life by Design underscore Katleo on TikTok as well. So, or Life by Design Katleo, one of the two. But uh, I was doing all of that today. It is so incredibly hot. That's why this is doing its job. Mm -hmm. so to be mm -hmm. honest, this week has been manic. I don't know how to even... I don't know how to explain it even more or explain it better. Okay? You know when you are so busy that you don't even have time to think. You don't even have time to think about your things your problems your life your this 
you are just going, going, going on 100 because you've got responsibilities, because you've got things to do, because you just got places to be and people to see. Okay? You've got things to do. And for me, that's the kind of week that I had. That's why there'll be a lot of content that you're going to see before this one. Um, purely because, oh my gosh, I need to drop a video on popular opinions now. I need to drop it now now but it's a good thing i needed this kind of week in so many aspects i needed it in the get out the house aspect be around people aspect as you guys know i've been voluntarily self-isolating for a little bit of a while now um purely just because i've been feeling very vulnerable do you know what i mean feeling very exposed um so this week came at the perfect time because there was just event on event on event and it was just me being out with my sister me and my sister have just absolutely been going through it to be honest oh my god it's just been a mess it's just been a mess but i spent a lot of time with her this week and i couldn't be more grateful my sister and i are siblings we fight all the time <laughs> we have disagreements we're very strong personalities as much as I'm an introvert, she's an extrovert, but my personality is quite strong. Like, I'm very sure of myself. She's very sure of myself, uh, of herself. We have very strong opinions. Um, we're not afraid to speak our mind, even to each other. We're not afraid to speak our mind outside to other people. It's fine. Like, we do it anyway. Do you know what I mean? So, let me silence this. So, it was just... Uh, 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 a week where I ironically spent a lot of time with my sister. I think out of the week, we're on Saturday now. I think out of the week, I probably spent three or four days with my sister. And that's a lot, even for us. Typically, we see each other maybe once a week, twice a week. So recently, we've been spending a lot of time together. And I think my sister has just been a little bit softer on me and been wanting to be around me and hang out with me um, because she knows I spend a lot of time by myself, by choice. Excuse me. I spend a lot of time by myself. So I think this, this week, she was just like, nah, girl. <laughs> so uh, giving you the play-by-play, I might do a voiceover of all the footage that I have on my phone, all the places that we went, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just going to give you a quick one right now. Starting on Monday. Monday, I was at work and we left work early because of load shedding. What are you going to do? South Africa. Um, and then I went to then work from home. And I was like, okay, no, it's fine. I'll get home, set up some things. And then if there's anything pressing that I need to attend to, I will. Fortunately, on Monday, there wasn't much. And my sister called me up and she's like, do you want to hang out, bro? Like, I, I'm just feeling some type of way. And I know you feeling some type of way. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I kind of am. Okay. So we decided to spend the afternoon together, which ended up becoming the whole night. Afternoon and night, um, she ended up sleeping here. So we went out, we went to a place in just off Marlboro called the Half Table and they sell traditional food like Moskopo, Muhodu, Mautwana, go to traditional food, like that's our stuff, that's what we have. I'll put up a picture here and we love that. Now Lady and I love that. We grew up on that kind of food, so we absolutely love it. Just because you see your girl living in the burbs, Okay, doesn't mean that A, she can't cook that food and that B, she doesn't eat that food because I do eat that food. So we had that and then after that, we left the half table and then uh, we had a couple of things to do and then we ended up at a little drinking watering hole near me and her. Imagine on a Monday and <laughs> we just had a couple of drinks. We hung out, we reminisced, we talked about our mom it was just fabulous it was just fabulous okay and then the tuesday um i went to the spa i went to life day spa so much fun absolutely so 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 much fun uh if there's one thing that i haven't been doing for a while is 
doing the things that I love to do, my me time things, my looking after myself things, my this, this, that things, you know, feeling cute, feeling blah, blah, blah. So I was speaking to Naledi about um, get going to get a massage. And Naledi's like, you know what, I got you. Don't even worry about it. You actually need one. You actually need one. Um, Naledi booked the massage for me and then I went. On my way there, I actually wanted to turn around. And there's something, there's something about me getting naked lately in front of other people that just makes me feel really uncomfortable. I haven't really gained any weight. Um, I've lost a bit, a little bit actually. So, but it's, it's just that I just feel a little bit uncomfortable being naked right now. And so I went either way, you know, against my, the wishes of my mind. I went and I got a CBD oil massage. Let me tell you. What are you even talking about? What? My body, in the moment, the massage was fantastic. And I even told the lady, I'm like, listen, I haven't had a massage since last year sometime. And I told that lady, I was like, listen, go in, go ham, be firm. I need, I need you. I regret saying that because I felt it for the next two days after that. But it was fun. It was great. Um... Thursday, then on Thursday, my sister had gotten invited to Cracker Zacks for the laughing jokes comedy thing. And then I was invited to Mama Samba, um, which is right across from uh, Cracker Jacks. At Mama Samba, they had like a carnival themed uh, sort of function event where we were going to just eat some good food, listen to some great entertainment, yada, yada, yada. So my sister and I were like, well, kill two birds with one stone. What do you mean? So that's what we did. And it was so much fun. We really had the best time. And then Friday. Friday was yesterday. I got home. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't go into the office on Friday. Um, so everything was pretty much done via this device. And I stepped out for a little bit. I kind of treated myself. I went out to Rosebank and walked around a little bit, picked up a few things here and there, and uh, then sat and had a nice brunch for myself, by myself. And then after that, I um, came home, popped into Woolies, picked up a couple of things, and then I came home. And, and that was pretty much it. And I loved that for me. I had a really good time. I've been talking for 20 minutes. Who, who the hell do I think I am? So let's not make this too long. Um, the books that I'm currently reading are these two. I told you guys, I think at some point that I do want to read a lot more nonfiction this year. And this is a nonfiction, but let's start here. It is the month of love and I am a romantic of note. I just fall in love. I love being in love. I am lighter on my feet when I'm in love. Like, I love love. Okay? I love love. <laughs> so this is When in Rome by Sarah Adams. And uh, it's cute. I mean, it's cute. Okay? We follow Amelia Rose here, who is an international superstar. Okay? She's a singer. But, you know, just being a superstar, a lot of her life is hidden away. She's always just having to do things for other people. She's got a manager by the name of Sarah, I think, who is really, really hard on her. She has, she doesn't have the greatest, someone's car is going off. She doesn't have the greatest relationship with her mother and things like that. And one day, a few weeks just before Amelia's concert, she decides to jump off, drop off, and go to a really small town in Kentucky called Rome. But as she's on her way there that evening, her car breaks down. Her car breaks down and it breaks down right in front of someone's house. And she doesn't realize that it's in front of someone's house because it's dark and all of this. And she starts to panic and she looks at her phone and there's no cell reception. Until a few minutes later, as she's panicking, wondering, what do I do? Do I walk? Oh my God, somebody could kill me. Oh my God, what do I do? Knock on the window and there's Noah. I think it's Noah. Yeah, Noah Walker. There's Noah and Noah is like, girl, girl. You are parked in my driveway. What am I supposed to do about this, girl? It's not safe out here, whatever. And then Amelia is obviously like, Oh my God, don't murder me. Please. I'm not getting out of this car. 
eventually she gets out the car so it's it's kind of like a hate to love kind of romance but so far i'm about 100 pages in 103 pages in so far it's cute um to be honest i only started enjoying it from about 80 pages in so it's actually really lucky that i'm still reading it because now by 50 pages if i'm not getting the vibe the zing -a zing i don't know I don't know. So, so far, uh, Amelia is in this town and she's meeting all the townsfolk. It's a very small town. And uh, Noah owns a pie store, a pie shop where he makes pies. And it's a longstanding tradition in his family. It belonged to his family. And he's sort of taking it over. And Amelia meets Noah's family, his sisters, and all the people of the town who are really trying to get uh, Noah set up with a woman because he's just been really grumpy 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 it's a grumpy sunshine kind of thing since his previous relationship so so far it's okay i wouldn't nothing to um write home about but to be honest it's quite enjoyable it's quite enjoyable and then the next one is uh, my neighbor's actually like my neighbor's front door is <laughs> actually looking into my window and she's staring at me and kind of weird anyway i'm in my house so the next one is the six lives of african women and i absolutely love this one this is following a collection of stories of women all over the african continent they were maybe born in the african continent and have moved to certain parts of the world who um talk about their experience with sex or with their sexuality their sexual prowess um sexual freedom and how sex is viewed on the african continent not only by other people but by men in particular and what men think and feel about women who are sexually free you know who know what they want when it comes to sex um it also tackles uh, relationships that involve polyamory it tackles relationships that involve long distance you know somebody being in a relationship with someone else and then things happen um, but these are all true accounts and true stories of the stories that some women have had uh, on the African continent and how gender and culture and tradition and background uh, form a large part of uh, your sexual history or your sexual life with your partner. Um, there's a case of a woman who is Muslim, and I learned from this book that in the Muslim faith, sex, especially with your husband, is, is taken very, very seriously. So I, I quite enjoy it. I quite enjoy it. So for fear of making this too long, sorry, 26 minutes long, I'm going to go. I might come back a little bit later. I might not. That's okay. If I don't come back a little bit later, I'll come back tomorrow. I hope you guys are currently still enjoying this vlog. I know it's very patchy patchy. I will try and do voiceovers. If it's too long, I'll move it over into the membership space. And you can join the membership space or support my content so that it can help me keep continuing to create more content by giving a thanks or a super thanks whatever it may be there have been a number of you that have shown me a number of thanks over the last few months and i really do appreciate it i see it i comment and i uh, give my thanks but i really do see it it goes a long way so i'm gonna take a break now i've done all the social media work i really promised myself not to do any work during the weekend but i've done all my TikToking, all of this and i have said hi to you guys so for now i'm gonna rest currently watching candy on disney plus if you have seen love or death or love and death it's very similar to candy and love and death actually came out after candy it follows the true story of a woman by the name of Candy Montgomery. I don't want to say what she does. It's a true crime thing. If you love true crime, you will love the series. I'm watching it. I watched Love or Death first on Showmax, I think. And now I'm watching Candy on Disney+. Plus. And this one has Jessica Biel in it. It's Her acting is fantastic. Ah, uh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, loved it. So if you're looking for something new to watch, 
definitely if you don't have disney plus try and show max there's love or death or love and death and that has the eldest elizabeth olsen of the olsen family <laughs> okay let me go i will see you later if not tomorrow if not in the next vlog <laughs>